Hey guys, this is Bales. I'm at Fantasy Labs, and I wanted to show you this new plus minus feature that we created um, located right above the sliders here that just gives some more details on the model that you're creating. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to show you some new advanced stats that we have here in the player card. So I'm looking at pitchers, and you can see uh, pitch speed, strike ratio, um, the opponent batted ball distance, opponent hard hit percentage, and opponent exit veloc velocity. This is um, uh, over the past year, which is a running 12 months, and the past 15 days. So we're looking at center guard. You can see that um, opponent exit velocity of only 84 miles per hour. He's doing really well right now over the past 15 days, which I believe is three starts for him. Um, four miles per hour lower than uh, his opponent exit velocity over the past 12 months. Um, really uh, big drop in opponent hard hit percentage. They're not hitting the ball as far, and he's also throwing um, the ball one mile per hour faster than he did over the past 12 months. So pretty cool stuff there. And for batters, we have um, similar data. So we have our normal splits, and then there's a new advanced tab. And so distance, hard hit percentage, exit velocity, and then batted ball profiles. So we're looking at Jose Batista um, over the past 15 days, hitting at 20 feet farther than he did over the over the past 12 months and 251 feet is is very far uh, hard hit percentage also much higher exit velocity a bit higher so this is a good way to better quantify recent play in a way that i think traditional stats and even advanced metrics can't do so anyway back to this um plus minus concept so um the plus minus is obviously the points above salary based expectation um that that players in your model have scored the top five percent of players historically what we've added now is the ability to um, basically grade the entire model over time so we're looking at my model this is batter performance and this is the batter performance for each um, percentile of hitters so those in the top 10 percent have been 1.09 points over expectation those between um, the 80 in the 80th the 80th to 90th percentile have been 0.53 points above expectation and so you can see how um, the model performs as a whole and then we also have um, an r squared value which is basically a measure of how correlated your model is um, or has been to actual value in the past um, my batter model all time has an r squared of 0.9693 which is which is pretty high but it's just a good way um, in addition to the plus minus uh, to basically grade your model another way for you to determine how predictive your model is um, after you create it so just a useful feature that I think will make the models um, even more accurate